up guys today we're going to be taking a look at some new iron sights these are budget sights and they come in at less than 30 dollars which is really crazy for the quality that you get here so let's go ahead and take a look at them and see what makes them special so the first thing i noticed when i got them out of the box is that these sights come in this really nice little plastic hard case that's a nice step up from the usual little cardboard box you get with these budget sights and inside the box you obviously have your sights rear and front sight you also get the hex key for mounting them to your rifle all right now getting them out of the box the first thing that stands out to me is the weight now these are fully made of aluminum so they feel pretty solid the folding action is really smooth and there's a nice detent locking it to the rear now when you deploy the sight and push it all the way up you have this plunger here and that locks it in so this sight is not going anywhere and you can see how sturdy this is that's something that other budget sites seem to struggle with but on this one you can see this is super solid only a tiny bit of play there and this locking plunger here is spring-loaded and it's made of steel now looking at the aperture of the rear sight you can see it's adjustable for windage and you have these convenient little marks here as well as the center mark on the actual aperture and on the windage knob here you can see that little arrow that shows you which way to twist the knob all right and here you can see the two different apertures now i have it set to the precise mode and this will probably be used for 50 yards plus or for cqb you flip it forward and you have the nice large aperture and this right here also has a super nice detent to it it feels really good another thing worth mentioning is that this uses a stainless steel detent instead of a plastic detent on some other budget iron sights. Going to the front sight, you can see it has the same system for deploying it. This nice plunger on the side, and this locks up just as well, or even stronger than the rear side. You do have a couple milled out pockets here, not quite sure if that'd be useful for anything, but they do look cool. And up top, you can see the front sight post. Now this is adjustable for elevation. There's a little spring-loaded plunger in here, and after you depress that, you can screw down or up the front sight post. The overall design is really nice. They are a bit squared off here at the front. Some other sights do have a nice beveled edge there, although depending on how deep that's cut, it could impact the durability. I'd assume having more material there makes it stronger. And down below here, you can see the Picatinny mounting point. So let's go ahead and get these mounted up on a rifle and see how they look. All right, so here they are on a rifle and mounting was super easy. It only took like 20 seconds to get these on there. And again, flipping these up, it's so solid and the detent is super satisfying. It feels really good. And lockup is super solid on this. There's almost zero movement at all on there. And again, with the front sight post, deploying it, super easy and there's zero movement there only a very tiny amount even though these aren't spring loaded they can still be deployed very fast another thing worth mentioning is that unless the rear sight is set on the small aperture it will not lay flat here if we swap it over to the large aperture and try and fold it you can see it bumps the top of the rifle here swapping it back over it lays flat and assuming you have the correct height on your red dot sight, these will co-witness perfectly. I wanted to do a bit of a comparison against some other sights here. Here I have the Dagger Defense backup iron sights. Now these are spring-loaded, so hitting this button pops them up. And you can also see where they have a bit of a bevel on the front end. You can see these have way more movement than the Feachi sights. The rear sight is the same. Not to mention that these sights are almost double the price. So going over my overall opinion, honestly, for the money, these are some of, if not the best iron sights you can buy. They're fully made of aluminum they use steel hardware and overall they feel very solid now if you guys are interested in picking these up i am going to leave a link in the description to buy them so anyways if you like the video be sure to hit like subscribe if you want to see more videos like this ring the bell that way you're notified of all my future uploads and i'll see you later